What's up guys, TK here. And today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, When I first posted this D100 on the channel, um, it was pretty much, you know, pulling out the 318, swapping the oil pan to pick up and all that stuff. And in that video, I um, I talked about the Chrysler's electronic ignition, eh, ignition system. And I really didn't go into detail much, but I did say that I would probably make a video on it. Well, this is going to be the video on it. So, let's go ahead and go over the basics. This is a 72 D100. This truck came with points. It did not come with that. The, um, you know, the little box with the four or five pin. Um, so I converted this over to an electronic ignition system. I did not do the Petronics. I didn't want to get involved in any of that stuff. I just wanted something quick, simple that I could go to, you know, your local parts shop and go pick up replacement parts. That was the whole point of this, to make it simple, you know? And there's a lot of confusion on the internet and not enough information stating how to convert a points to an electronic ignition system. I mean, there's diagrams and stuff like that, but no one really goes into detail much. There's one guy on YouTube that did a pretty good job explaining it, but I just wanna let you guys, you know, see how did I do it and the course that I went about. Okay. So this 318 does not belong in this truck. This came out of a 74 um, Swinger. And along with that Swinger, I pulled out the ignition, um, the, the Chrysler electronic ignition system. That was the box, the plug, and the piece that goes to the distributor itself. Um, let, me, let me bring you in here real quick. You can go to a junkyard and find one of these old Mopars that got the four pin, five pin set up and just snatch it all. So, let's see here. You gotta excuse my, my wiring. Let me bring you guys in here. Okay, so again, this truck didn't come, you know, with that box. Um, it was a points, and it came with the ballast resistor that had the two. Well, what I did was, there's no longer a ballast resistor hooked up on the wall. Um, when you switch to this, most cars that have this box has a four pin ballast resistor. And I wanted to do away with all that because the whole purpose of the ballast resistor is to, you know, regulate the voltage. So you're not, you know, cooking stuff. But that also goes in return with the coil. So what we did was we swapped in a 12 volt coil, you know, a flamethrower, a Acer, whatever you see, they all work. So what you'll do is you'll get you a coil. All right, let's, um, Let's take this off. Okay, so boom. We got the box, okay? We mounted the box in here. Let me put that cigarette down. All right, so on these pins, you're gonna notice that there's gonna be five wires coming off these boxes, okay? This is a four pin, okay? Um, one of these wires on this is dead. I'm gonna, I, I'll just show you, I'll show you. All right, so let me explain this real simple, okay? So you're gonna have this black and yellow wire that comes up off this, okay? That black and yellow wire, you're gonna run that to the negative side of your coil. So you're gonna run that wire. You're gonna have to extend it. It's gonna go all the way to the negative side of the coil. That is the only wire that you're gonna hook up to the negative side of your coil, okay? Gotcha. So next, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna see this gray and black in this brown and white, okay? This gray and black and brown and white, this actually goes to the um, distributor. Now, some of these distributors, like this one had a yellow and um, black wire. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get the connector, the end that connects into it, just like this, all right? There's gonna be a, again, a brown and white and a gray and black wire. You put two and two together. Those two are gonna go together. So what I did was I extended those wires because they're, you know, that's where they go as they should. So we extended those two and we did this black and yellow. This black, again, this black and yellow goes to the negative side of the coal. Your gray and, your gray and black and your brown and white goes to the distributor, okay? That's three wires. Next, we have the green and red and the yellow and blue. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now, these wires go together. All right, one of these wires is dead because again, this is a five wire, but a four pin. All right, so you're gonna 
put those wires together and I ran that as a red wire. I ran that red wire all the way over to um over here. Now, excuse this mess, but th this is how I kind of got it going right now. This red wire, let's just say it's not hooked up to this right now, okay? All right, you see these two right here? These two is what goes into your two pin ballast resistor. These two are gonna get connected together, all right? And those two that goes to your, because your ballast resistor, once you switch to a 12 volt coil and you switch to this box, you no longer need a ballast resistor, all right? Those two wires essentially go together. Same time, those two wires that you married together comes all the way over here and they go into this junction, all right? So the two ballast resistor wires and that one goes together. And what you're going to do is you're going to, you want to feed all those wires to the positive side of your coil. All right. So one more time, let me break it down. You have five wires on this pin, but you have a four pin box. The black and yellow goes to the negative on your coil. The brown and white and gray and black goes to your distributor. And the green and red and blue and yellow merge together because one wire is dead. If I remember correctly, I want to say it's that green and red wire that's dead. Nonetheless, those two go together and they're going to go to your ballast resistor wires. Those two ballast resistor wires merges with that wire. And then in return, you merge a wire from that to the hot side of your coil and that's it that's how simple it is nothing crazy nothing out of the way i mean it's it's just simple guys so i wanted to create a little short video for you guys because it's been a little rainy here lately and um i'm still waiting on some parts to do with the old d100 but i wanted to show you guys a quick simple easy wiring of how to wire a chrysler electronic ignition into a Mopar that came with points. Um, again, it's blown up on the internet. Um, it's actually pretty simple. I mean, I probably looked at the wiring diagram for like five, 10 minutes and I'm like, okay, bam, 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 bam. But it's always not that simple for most people. So I wanted to make it real cut dry to where you guys can upgrade your points Mopar with something like this. But I appreciate you guys um this short video but i wanted to pop out and get you some knowledge of today um i'm usually tearing up stuff or doing something dumb but every now and again i like to do something you know a little hmm, educational you might say so with that you guys have been great i'll see you in the next video tk out